I started the company 21 years ago. Well, pretty much, I think, like a lot of us do, as a broke kid with ambition and desires to build custom cars and trucks. And and uh, I guess I grew up staying out of trouble by modifying stuff on my car and my truck, and I didn't have the money to pay somebody to do it, so I had to figure out how to do it. Busted my ass for many years working for other people, learning different things. When I opened my shop, I was primarily a truck shop. When you're doing trucks, then you get the caddy crowd, you get the Lincoln crowd, you get the mini truck crowd, I mean like, and we start building shoe boxes and we got into Lincoln's, it was like, uh, we built one. And to be honest with you, Lincoln's weren't built very well from the factory and they had a lot of problems. We try to make them have less problems. Uh, one of the things with the Lincoln's is that now there's not a lot of people that make the part um, and there's no aftermarket parts for Lincoln's. So we're trying to get into the parts making business to kind of uh, eliminate some of the headaches that came from with the factory and make them look somewhat vintage and in better quality and, and so on and so forth. So the best part about this shop is, this is my favorite side because I like this part of the build. Because this is where we form the cars and shape the cars to what they are today. Because Lincoln Continental owners have a unique and special pride in their cars, their suggestions for improvements are always welcome. From customer requests have come such refinements as... We uh, flushed them out of the windows. We did a uh, shave gas door, but we made the tail light actually open up mechanically by electric motor, so you can put the, the fuel in. It has the best air suspension on earth. We changed the door handles out, but yet kept the two door handles like a Lincoln. These handles by Ken Diggett, they work pretty good. We actually put a Porsche Panamera interior in it, and the interior in this thing is gonna be unbelievably sick. I mean, it's gonna be like sitting in a new car with an old car around you. We, we outfit it with all our air suspension. We're building a one-off set of custom wheels for it. We also have a twin turbo at LS under the hood, about 1,200 horsepower. We got a billet one-off uh, grill for it. We've tucked the bumpers, sucked them in. I mean, this car has no expense spared at all. This car is going to be the icon of all icons when it comes to Lincoln Continentals. People will talk about this car forever, guaranteed. I have a metal shaving background of like a woodsman. <laughs> Hammer and me equals danger. <laughs> I never really uh, did anything other than just beat on metal to try to make it work. I really honestly learned the hard way. Uh, a couple of the things that I really did that, that helped out is I did take a Bailey uh, metal shaping class and that inspired me to buy some more Bailey equipment because it worked so well. Man, I love my Bailey equipment. Every single piece, I, uh, I've never had anything bad or break or anything go wrong. Like, uh, I can make a phone call right now, they'll answer, they'll respond to my questions. Uh, it works exactly how they say it's gonna work and it works the right way. It saves so much time. I've invested a lot of money in the equipment the last few years and hands down, Bailey kicks ass. I started back in the day with a tubing bender that you had to like pull and then switch the pin and then pull some more and switch the pin. Let me tell you what, what a nightmare, right? So this is how easy the new benders are. We like to put a little lube in them, keep the dies looking fresh. Push the pedal, you're done, literally. We have all these programmed already, so it makes it super simple. Perfect clean bend, no crush in the tube, super smooth. This is why we like Bailey so much. That took that tube that used to take us five minutes down to like 30 seconds maybe. And that's what we make all our control arms with. 
That's why Bailey's the difference. <laughs> the Velvet Smooth Lincoln Continental Ride. Made smoother than ever with Velvet Smooth stopping power. It's another customer's Lincoln. This has an LS swap with um, tube control arms that we built in-house here. We also make our own fuel cells in-house. In These things have fuel injection pumps in them built into them. Right now we're turning um, tapered ball joints there for our Lincoln kits. So these go in a uniball control arm, and then they go the same taper as the factory spindle. Um, we're making batches of those right now on the small lathe. This is one of our new products I'm pretty excited about. These are billet hood hinges for Lincolns. Uh, we just made these last week, so we'll be powder coating, chroming, and polishing these. These go on the front of the hood and is a very visible part. We make our own cross shafts. We make all our uniball, uniball cups to put the bearings in. Uh, we make everything right here. These are billet switch plates for the window switches, and then we have these chromed. Uh, you get an armrest pad here in the, in the pull to open the doors there. Uh, we remake, remake these uh, due to the fact that the factory ones look like crap when you re-chrome them, and the switches suck. So we replace them with good quality switches, re-chrome them so they're show quality. This puppy here is like half America's dream child. 6.0, Whipple supercharged, Fully hand-built frame, all TIG welded, chop top, suicide doors, custom dash, custom interior. I mean, there is nothing on this truck that we haven't not touched. <laughs> This is an epic car. I mean, this, this car changes the world. It's got a Boss 520 motor in it. It sounds as amazing as it looks. This car is gonna haul ass um, black paint. The car is straight as an arrow. When this car drives by, it doesn't wave at you. It's, 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 you, you wave at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like to put a lot of tools in nice and tight. That way it's easy to get to each station. You're not walking. 300 yards this way or 500 yards that way to get to the next tool. And this is what takes care of our paychecks at the end of the week. Thanks to Bailey, because we have the tools that we can do stuff quick and fast, we have everything we can knock out in a jiffy. Well, this is our new, newest piece of equipment here. Uh, it's a Bailey press brake. Uh, we pretty much use it for everything and anything. We do our aluminum fuel tanks, our 100 wall aluminum. Uh, we do our 316s, so eighth inch and quarter inch plate brackets for our cross members control arms, uh, pretty much any fabbing in-house. Uh, I haven't found anything I can't break yet. It works really good. It's got a ton of options. I'm so glad I bought it. There's, there's no complaint here. A little tricky to get to the use at the beginning, but now I think I got it down and uh, I love it. I went to a metal shaving class and I learned how to metal shape more the right way. And I ended up buying a power hammer. This thing saves us so much time. We can pretty much make anything and everything using just this hammer. I'm super thankful for uh, the way that Chris has taken care of the power hammer and made it what it is today and how easy it is to use and change dies. Um, we use this almost every day. It, we, we make all kinds of sheet metal products as far as wheel tubs, wheel wells. We even made some fender trim that nobody else has, even has for a car. Uh, we designed and built the dies and made it. it. This thing, I tell you what, it's amazing. So we use it more as a power hammer, although we do do some full max stuff with it. But uh, power hammer is where we do most of our shaping to get our shapes of our fenders or our uh, panels that we need to change from factory to get a little bit lot more room for wheels and tires and such. Many, many years I ran without having a power shear. Shane said, hey, you should try our power shear. It's air over hydraulic, it's small enough for your shop and big enough for what you need. So I did and now I couldn't live without it, man. It makes jobs snap. Bailey's uh, social media is pretty awesome, actually. It's helped me contact and connect with other metal shapers, other fabricators, people building stuff. It's kind of like a little family inside a family. They're really good at posting really quality stuff, so it's stuff that interests me. And so when they post me, I get excited because I'm like, hey, it's got to be really cool stuff, right? <laughs> I made it! Yeah. I'm in the army! One of my favorite parts about Bailey is they answer the phone and answer your question and sell you the part. I can't tell you how many other companies there you buy a piece of equipment from them and then trying to get tech support or even trying to get the thing is a nightmare. I mean, Bailey Industrial, I really can't say anything that they need to do better, really. I mean, like, I'm completely happy. Well, my legacy, I think, will be uh, passing this 
amazing just establishment and skills onto my uh, my kids and hopefully their kids. Uh, I'm pretty fortunate right now that I work with my dad. I uh, work with my oldest son, so there's three generations here right now, so hopefully it just keeps on rolling and never dies. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I employ 18 guys. What I do every day when I wake up and go to sleep actually ends up affecting all of us, so it's super important. I mean, that's life. I mean, there's I don't do anything else. This is, this is my joy. This is my happiness. This is what I do for fun and passion, and I mean, well, it's life to me. Oh man, Shane from Bailey. How to make him more badass than that dude already is? Hell, I don't know. Give him a cigar. Give him a gun. Let's light a fire, I don't know. I'm sure he's got plenty. You know what would make Shane more badass than he is? What's that? If he come down and visit me and we enjoyed a little lake time together. How about that? <laughs>